Well, guys, I tell you, Ray here. Old Marcelo brought over four days worth of gold. Four days worth of cons. Each of them about a gallon apiece. Just about four gallons worth of cons. I don't want to crawl up to the mat just yet, but. Oh my goodness, this is the most gold I've ever seen in the multi sluice. Let's start at the bottom of the matting. And let's work on our way up. That is the bottom run. Look, you've got a little tiny bit of black sand right here in the middle, but we got clean gold all the way across. There's a little bit of black sand there in that corner there. <coughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and come on up. To the next big line every time you get the biggest amount of gold will happen right after where the, the mats join together and again we're going to come on over here got a little bit of black sand dancing there and there when you come up to the next run uh, before the joint again they kind of clear out they, they don't never fill up but right after the joint again look at that a little bit of black sand dancing there <laughs> Let's go all ahead. That line right there is fully almost built up all the way to the top. There's a tiny bit of black sand dancing there. And every now and then a piece will pull up out of the bottom of that line of gold. Hopefully that shows up. Then we're going to go ahead and come all the way up here to the top. And look at that. Now I'm going to get shut down the water here. Pulling off the side. Let me take this. Let me take the header box off. I always tip my header box backward like that, it's just so I'm not pouring a ton of water into it, and just set it right down into my sluice box or down in my bucket. Look at that. Okay. <coughs> now we're dealing with ultra fine gold, so it. It doesn't really pool up up here like if you had a bigger nuggets and bigger chunks it would take and actually get stuck in this UR. Our gold gets, goes ahead and it it's so fine it just starts separating out the sand from the gold. And down we come. Look at that. Now, now that it's shut down you can kind of see more of the black sand stuck in the gold. But compared to, you know, that's the big one. Oops, my bad, sorry about the movement. A little bit more black sand, a little bit more black sand, a little bit more, and then the last big run. Yeah, this is hard times. This is hard times gold. My buddy Marcelo, man, he's nailing it. But then again, he's also working his butt off. That's four days worth of gold. <laughs> Not all you guys are going to get that kind of cheddar. Well, it probably looked like crap, but hey, what the hell. Here's Marcelo's four days worth of gold. We're going to go ahead and put it here on the hog plate here in a second. We're going to put it on the hog plate. We're going to dry it out. We're going to see what it weighs. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Here it is. Look at that. Now there's still a little bit of black black stuff in there and a tiny bit of lead, but not too bad. Oh yeah, there we go. 40, 464.2 grams.